How's it going YouTube? My name is Ruin the Gamer, and today I'm going to be looking at the Timothy's and Lich Steiner in my first impressions live commentary. And he's got 88 pace, 82 dribbling, 69 shooting, 85 defending, 87 passing, and 81 heading. 3 star weak foot, 2 star skills. And I paid 111,000 coins for him on a buy now. And uh, I thought I would try him out because in a Division 1 game I switched to a 3-5-2 with my Serie A team and uh, Lich Steiner's original card ended up playing right mid and did pretty well. So thought I would try him out. Uh, some other players we got in here. We got Inform Shirla, second Inform Marchisio, uh, Team of Season Trap, and uh, Balotelli and Dina Tala at Strikers. So uh, once somebody sells on my trade pile, I'm going to try to pick up the second Inform Inler because he's a beast. But we're going to go into the first round of the Gold Cup and I will play, um, you know, try to get the ball to Lichtsteiner as much as possible. Uh, check out his in-game stats at halftime. And, you know, the whole nine yards. I never understood that phrase, because don't you need ten yards to get a first down? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even understand American football, and I live in America. I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to be playing against this guy. It's a three bar, so connection's good. Uh, 81 rated team, 442 Russian League team. Very pacey, because that's what Russian League is. It's just straight up pace. Wellington, in my opinion, is the most overpowered player in the game. Uh, he's insanely fast. He can win headers, and he can. He just like has amazing finishing. For an 81 rated player, who's that cheap? He's for sure overpowered. Um, but yeah, hopefully, pace doesn't um, get the better of me in this game. Uh, I'm glad. I'd rather, I don't, well actually, maybe not, I, I was going to say I'd rather play this guy than play against, um, you know, a really terrible opponent who I would just kill, um, you know, like the last game that I played with Delafoe, but so far my players cannot make accurate passes, which is not good, but uh, yeah, I just got to watch out for his, his chip through balls, his, uh, his forwards making runs. Because that can be very, very dangerous with uh, Dumbia and... Oh, I lost the ball. With Dumbia and Wellington up front. And uh, both of his center mids are center tacky mids by default as well. So I might be able to exploit that um, if I keep the ball in the midfield. And, um, you know, that could be how I win this game. But, um... I'm going to switch to attacking. Try to... Try to get uh, something going here. I'm um, not sure what this guy is attempting to do with that. But uh, hopefully my my center backs know what they're doing. I mean, there are two of them are silver. Um, I got them just for pace and chemistry. Uh, I needed some Swiss center backs in Bundesliga so I could make the hybrid work. Um, one of them is a really low rated silver like a 66 or 68 so uh you know hopefully he's not absolutely terrible he does have like 75 pace uh, i want to get the ball to lichsteiner a little bit um you know that is the drawback of having him uh, on the right side he's not going to get the ball as much uh if especially if you're trying to use him as an attack as an attacker as a playmaker so uh you know he doesn't have good shooting um at least on his card, he doesn't, but um, maybe he will have really nice shots, uh, you know, just anyway. Maybe his in-game stats, he's got good shot power or something. I, I believe he, he does have decent free kick stats, but maybe we'll have to see that a little bit later. Or um, perhaps, oh, can I get a shot off? There we go, 1-0. I'm not even sure who this guy is. I think it's my left CDM. I've never seen that name before, but um, perhaps at halftime I will also check out, well, I will be checking out his in-game stats, but maybe I'll, ch I'll switch him to like a CAM, just to see how he plays there, um, you know, if he's not getting the ball enough this half, I might, I might switch him, but 2-0, uh, is that, oh, Andre Sherla, what a beast. I uh, didn't even really expect that goal to go in. But nevertheless, nevertheless, I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. But it is 2-0, and I'm beating um, a pretty pacey team. 
which is a good sign that I will win this game, unless um, unless he's just uh, you know starting off poorly. Perhaps Pace will get the better of me in the second half, which I you know I don't want to happen. But Lichsteiner, just gonna try to make my way inside. Pretty decent dribbling, um, you know, for somebody who was a right back initially. Really nice dribbling. His his in game, not his in game, but his his original card is my my go to right back for the Serie A rather than somebody like Abate. He's got 82 passing on his regular card, which is insane for um, an outside back. So um, you know that's why that's why I buy him buy him uh, rather than somebody who's just got a lot of pace. Let's see, Lichsteiner 86. 77 93 some really nice uh curve wish he had a little bit better free kick accuracy than just 77 but uh still some pretty nice free kick stats um it'd be cool if i could get him a free kick on the top of the box um let's see is that him way back here yeah uh i figured that was gonna happen i'm not sure what his weak um his work rates are but I, I kind of figured him to be um, more on the defensive end. Um, although he is, uh, you know, the fact that he got switched from a right back to a right mid. Let's hit this. Oh, it got blocked. Well, the fact that he got switched to a right mid um, makes me think that he could have high attacking work rate as a right back. Um, like his right back card could have a high attacking work rate. Although I don't know for sure. I was trying to play that back to him. Let's see, chip through ball. Oh, he almost managed to win a header. Well, he won the header. He just almost managed to score it, which um, you know, it's not, it's not too bad. He is six foot tall, um, so he's not um, you know, a lot of your outside backs or wingers are not very big. Oh, but Lichsteiner, he managed to score, which is um, you know, exactly what I wanted to happen. Uh, you just go straight up for power. Really nice turn, beat his defender, and just slots at home. Uh, I was saying something before I started to say that, but I don't remember. So that's good. But, uh, um, you know, I know I, I know I was talking about work rates, but I don't know exactly what I was saying. Oh, sent him through again. A pretty poor first touch, but managed to make it there in time for the second goal. Now I'm just concerned about this guy leaving because, um, you know, I'm beating him so bad so early that he could rage quit. Especially if, uh, you know, I've said this before, but if he's, uh, you know, one of the, your, your younger, inexperienced FIFA players who just go for pace, those are the ones that leave early. Um, you know, they, they get impatient. They're not scoring their goals, and uh, they just leave. Uh, I've also said before, oh, that's a foot save from Trap. Oh, God. Passed it straight to Wellington and to Dumbia, but Trap again on the save. I've never used, uh, never used Trap's Team of the Season card. I have used his first inform. Since, um, you know, back when I used it, it was about 10k, or 11k, almost discard price. Um, you know, just to have an inform in my team. And I didn't mind him, so just thought I would go for um, a team of the season player as my goalkeeper. Because I had a little bit of coins left over after making this team. Or while making this team, I should say. But we're going to put Lichsteiner here on the, on the corner kick. See, can uh, get on the end of that one. I don't know actually how to say his name. Is it just Dejuru? Juru? Uh, the ex Arsenal player. I probably sound like an idiot while trying to say his name. Uh, the first time, of course, I was intentionally adding the extra emphasis on the, the last part of his name. But it is halftime. I'm going to check out. Lichsteiner's in-game stats, and so far so good. He scored twice in the first half from right mid, so um, I don't see any point in switching him to a center attacking mid, since uh, you know he's a right mid. That's where I'm going to play him. Uh, 86 ball control, 93 crossing, 93 curve, 84 dribbling, only 46 finishing. That is absolutely terrible. Um, 85 marking, 89 short pass, 86 shot power, 89 standing tackle. Yeah, really nice defensive stats, passing. Crossing high medium work rates. I was right with the high attacking work rate 88 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. Uh, I don't think he has 89 pace on his card, but um, he probably should um, it Was it 88 87 on uh, those first two in-game stats on his last page so some really nice uh, you know passing 
in defensive stats. Unfortunately, 46 finishing is god awful. Um, you know, he's not. I guess he's not really meant to be played as like a. You definitely don't play him at like right forward or even right wing. I think you ha kind of have to play him at right mid so you can get all of the defensive capabilities that he has. So, uh, yeah, just. I'm just I don't know what to say about that finishing stat. It's just too bad that it's that low. But uh, you know I hadn't really seen. Oh, that's oh I thought for sure that was a goal. But so far I hadn't really seen that finishing stat come into play. He's already scored twice um, with his first two shots, and even his header was on target. So maybe that stat's a little bit of bullshit. I'm not sure his finishing stat. I don't know why it's that low, but. Um, you know, just my first game playing with him, I, that could just be luck, I guess. I don't know. But um, Dina Talley from outside the box. Going to find the back of the net. Because uh, Dina Talley, if you've never played with him, go out and buy him. He's a little bit more expensive now that he's team of the season this week. But Dina Talley, you don't even need any of his informs. His regu regular card is amazing. I've tried his... Uh, to, uh, does he just have three informs, including his team of the season? Um, I know I've tried two of his informs, but I don't know if he has a third before his team of the season card. But I've tried both. Um, was he is he eighty is he an eighty five or an eighty six by default? I don't remember. But I've tried um, two of his informs, and I really really like him. Although um, back when I tried him, he was like four hundred. They were like four hundred thousand coins. Um, not both of them, but one of them was. So, I mean, paying that much for just the uh, minor differences is, um, you know, not really worth it. I think his, his regular card is possibly one of the best players, um, one of the best base players, non-informed players, I should say, uh, in the game. Amazing, amazing pace, amazing dribbling and passing and shooting, so you really can't go wrong. It's got high... I, I'm kind of switching the focus from Lichsteiner to to Di Natale, but he's got high high attacking work rate, low defensive work rate, and uh, you know you can play him. Really, you can play him anywhere from CAM and for oh keeper, what are you doing? He brought him out and then he just stopped. But uh, yeah, that's my thought on on Di Natale. Yeah, I would like to have tried his team of the season card, of course. But uh, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I I wasted plenty of coins on packs and uh, buying Team of the Season players too soon. Oh, you know how to do a reverse step over spin? You're amazing. I'm, I'm kidding. But uh, he's going to try to go for a cross. It was a really bad one. And we're going to go on a counterattack. A good all three. Oh, wow. That ball didn't go through. But a good all 3 5 2 counterattack. That's, um, that's what the 3 5 2 is good for. It's one of the reasons why I hate this formation. But I'm playing it because you really have to play. Like I said earlier, you really do have to play Lichsteiner at right mid. Um, although he, he, has, um, he has scored twice. And has some pretty good shooting stats other than his poor finishing perhaps he would be a good um oh can i grab an assist with him no i cannot but um what was i saying i don't i god i don't remember i lose my train of thought way too easily um but you know playing him i think i was kind of saying something along uh, the lines of this but playing him at right forward is just not not a good idea. Even right wing. You want to play him at midfield so he can... Um, well, that long shot wasn't too far off. You want to play him at right mid just so he can track back and play um, defensively. Especially in, in something like a 3-5-2 where um, you, know, you, you only have three at the back. And um, having him there on the, on the outside can definitely help you out um, if the, the opponents have some pretty good wingers. Then he can kind of uh, tone him down a little bit. But uh, even something like a 4-1-2-2 or a 4-4-2, I could see being pretty good with him. 
Uh, I wouldn't play him at a 4-5-1 just because I think he could get uh, get lost. And um, with that many midfielders and him having high attacking work rate, he could push up way too high. So I'd, I wouldn't play him at like a 4-5-1. But, uh, you know, something like a 3-5-2. A lot of people like to play this formation. So if you want to go out and buy him, I would definitely recommend this. Um, it's, uh, it's still at the back of my mind that... 46 finishing you know I, I guess it's it's because that's not really what you're supposed to do with him he is much more of a defensive um, defensively minded although having high attacking work rate his stats definitely reflect a more defensive player and uh, somebody who's really good at passing and finding an open man rather than being the one to score goals so um, yeah don't go out and buy him if uh, if you expect him to score a lot, although he has scored twice in this game for me, he's a uh, he's definitely more of a playmaker. Um, I I definitely don't recommend putting all your coins into him. Um, go out for I don't know, just go out for somebody who is going to score more goals. Like um, uh, in this team, I have informed Sherla who was only about 85k and uh, he's he's a much better goal scorer um, although you should probably play him at like a that's somebody who you would want to play at like left wing left forward but um this game's wrapping up and and all I think uh, Lichsteiner he's a he's a type of player that if you if you have like um, say 600k or more he's uh, the type of player that can just really enforce your uh, your team in general and just be a really nice presence to have rather than be um, you know that target goal scorer so um yeah and all I enjoy him I'm gonna use him a little bit more just so I can uh, you know just so he can get the ball a little bit more than he did in this game but my name is Rewind the Gamer thank you all for watching if you have any more questions about him you can uh, drop them in that comment such comment section down below and I'll see you guys in my next video goodbye